Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. In the last episodes, you saw that we did a variety of things using executable statements, such as calculation, input and output. In the coming episodes, we are going to make decisions using those executable statements. And we can create decisions in C by using conditions. A condition is an expression that can be true, that is the condition is met, or false, that is the condition is not met. We can create conditions using relational operators. Just like in algebra, in C language we also have relational operators. Now let's go and review them. The first one is greater than. This is the sign. Just like in algebra, in C language we use the same sign. And for example, a sample code could be x is greater than y. And the meaning of this code is x is greater than y. We also have less than. And the operator is the same thing in C. The sample code could be x is less than y. And the meaning is x is less than y. We also have the greater than or equal to, which in algebra the sign is like this, but in C language we have this operator. And let's go and write a sample code, x is greater than or equal to y. The same way we have the less than or equal to operation. x is less than or equal to y. We also have some equality operators just like in algebra. Equality operators. Now let's go and write those ones. Let me copy this part. The first one is equal. In algebra we use the equal sign. In C language we use two equal signs. And that is x is equal to y. In algebra we have not equal to using this sign and in C language we are using this operator. An exclamation mark and, a, and an equal sign. And the sample code is x is not equal to y. In C the relational operators, they, all of them, they have the same precedence. And the equality operators, they have the same precedence with each other, but they have a less precedence compared to relational operators. And they are evaluated from left to right. That's it for this episode. See you in the next episode.